Chef Buck here and today we're going to use some unripe plantains to make kind of a mashed potato dish but without the potato we're going to use plantain as the starch because this is very savory green unripe cooking banana you can grill it or you can bake it but we're gonna boil it because boiling is what lazy people do uh -oh. and I am a lazy person so for this here recipe the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna slice off the ends of our plantains we're not even gonna peel them I've already washed them now we could peel these but it's kind of a pain in the butt you could slice it and peel it right off it's not gonna come off super super easily but you could do that but we're just gonna cut it into chunks into thirds and that way it'll cook a little faster and then that's all we got is some nice chunks of plantain so we're gonna cook them with a the peel on and then once we boil them this peel is gonna come right off I got me a big pot of water here and I'm gonna go ahead and throw a little bit of salt in there I'm gonna bring it up to a boil so we're just gonna throw in our chunks of plantain Alrighty, so we're going to bring our pot back up to a boil, let our plantains boil away in this hot water bath. We'll check them for tenderness in a little bit. While they're boiling away, I'm going to go ahead and chop me up some garlic and onion, you know, to get ready for the next stage in our plantain mash. So it's been bubbling away for about five minutes, but I'm going to go ahead and uh, heat me up a little bit of oil here on some medium-high heat. We're going to start to saute some garlic and onion because we're going to want these flavors to mix up with our plantains. Because I like uh, mashed potatoes that have a lot of flavor, so I'm going to want my mashed pan plantains to have a lot of flavor too. Because the plantains aren't going to have a lot of flavor of their own. It's very starchy and it's going to, you're going to need to bring a lot of flavor to the table. So that's what we're doing with this garlic and onion and these seasonings here. But I'll go ahead and start sauteing these up while my plantains are finishing. Here's something I'm going to throw in. I'm going to throw in a little fennel seeds because seeds are a nice flavor and that way it's going to pizzazz our mash up a little bit. You know, give it a little uh, personality. So give our fennel seeds a minute there. Then I'm going to add in my onion. This is a lot of onion. Do onion to taste, but I like a lot of onion. So go ahead and give this a minute's head start before we add anything else in. Alright, our onions have been going for a minute, so I'm going to throw this garlic in here. Again, adjust this to taste, but I like a lot of garlic and a lot of onion in my mash. And if you like mashed potatoes, you know, definitely give unripe plantains a try. You know, any kind of dish that you can do with potatoes, you can do with plantains. Just make sure you get the unripe ones, because the ripe plantains are going to have a very banana-y taste. You know, that's going to be sweet, where the unripe plantains are great for savory dishes. And there's all kinds of recipes that you can use plantains for. But this is one of the easiest. So once our onions start to soften up, we can add in our seasoning. And I'm using quite a little bit of seasoning here, but you're going to want a lot of flavor to go in with these plantains. So we'll go ahead and let these cook down for a little bit, and this is going to add a lot of personality into our plantain mash. Turn it from a plain mash into a... Uh, Sassy mash! That sounds better. <laughs> you know, these are softened enough, cooked up. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the heat off here and just leave this alone right here. And we'll just add this into our mash later. Let me check my plantains here. Let's see, they've been going for about 15 minutes. And the fork is starting to pass through there. But I want these to be pretty soft because I'm going to mash them up. So I'm going to let them keep going for a little bit longer. So you don't have to panic when the skin turns color. No, no, no. Yeah, the skin's going to turn color in there when you're boiling them. And you can't overcook them. As soon as they're ready to be mashed, I'll mash them. But you know, if I overcook them, that's fine. Huh? Because we, it doesn't matter how soft they get because I'm going to mash them up. But that being said, I don't want them to be too soft. Because I like my mash a little on the chunky side. Yeah. But you can definitely make it as smooth or chunky as you like. going to have the uh, chunks of onion and garlic in there. So it's going to be chunky no matter how smooth I make the uh, plantain mash, but I'm, I'm going to have my plantains a little bit chunky. That's right, baby. Alrighty, so it's been about 25 minutes, and they should be ready to go now. See how easily this fork passes into them? Boop! So I'm going to go ahead and turn the heat off. So I'm going to go ahead and strain off this hot water. Go ahead and drain them. Try not to uh, steam myself like a lobster. The top might have helped, huh? Oh, this is easier. I'm going to pour it out on the cutting board right here. 
because we want to take our peels off. And they'll come off pretty easily. Boop. Just give them a little slice. And again, if you're a sissy, you can wait for them to cool down. Oh my gosh, or if you're smart. Or if you're smart. See, because they'll peel off pretty easily. <gasps> Boop. Look at that. But it's a lot easier to take this peel off once they've cooked. If you try to peel it before they've cooked, you can do it. But it's just, you know, why, why go through the hassle? Because they'll come right off once they're boiled. Plus, it's easier to mash up while they're hot. So now that I've got them peeled, I'm going to throw them back into the pot. Boom, boom, boom. It's now the mashing bowl. The mashing bowl. And you can mash it with whatever you got. I got an official masher. So we're going to go ahead and give them a little smash here. But you could do it with fork or... Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I got a little bit of butter I'm going to throw in here. And I'm going to throw a little bit more olive oil as well. Now to get the plantain out of my masher so we don't waste any. Now I'm going to add in my onions and my garlic and my seasoning. Alrighty. Stir it around. Now you can add some water in here if you like. But I like it to be creamy. You know, the butter is going to make it creamy. But I'm going to add a little bit of actual cream as well. You can add a little bit of milk or half and half. Just like you would with potatoes. And just add it until you get it to the consistency that you like. And you know, I could have made this super smooth if I wanted to. But I just like it to have a little bit of chunkiness to it. Because you know what's good for you. Let me give a taste test here. You know, this is smooth enough for me. It's creamy enough for me. It's seasoned enough for me. And you don't have to put the onion in there. You don't have to do the garlic. You can just boil the plantains. And you know, just throw a little bit of salt and pepper in there and mash them up. Just like plain day mashed potatoes, if that's your style, if that's your speed, if that's the kind of boring life you want to live. Aww, variety. Think outside the box, man. But that's it. You know, a nice little twist on mashed potatoes. All right, camera girl. There's your plantain mash. Go ahead and give it a go. Ooh, and they're crunchy. Tell me what you think. I'm almost out of battery life. Mmm. Exactly. Mmm. <laughs> that is, I'll translate that. That means excelente. Excellent. Good job. You know, we're serving it with a simple green salad and a little bit of chicken, just like you would a mashed potato dish. That's enough for three people, Buck. Or one Buck. <laughs> Treat it like a tater, man. You know, buy some unripe plantains in the market and use them in this kind of super savory dish. Boil them, mash them up, boom, what could be simpler than that? I'll have a link to the recipe down below and you can follow that somewhere where you can print it. In fact, that somewhere is myfoodchannel.com. <laughs> You can subscribe to our mailing list over there. I must be getting hungry. But, I keep uh, going back down okay. to the food. Here, you're almost eating. Get up here. Okay. Thanks for watching. Give this recipe a try and we'll see you in the future.